Hello everyone. Welcome to today's webinar on online gaming platforms. So what are online games? Online games are fun games that you can play on your phone, tablet, or computer. There are thousands of online games all over the internet that can be played from the comfort of your own couch, on transit, or even in a waiting room to pass the time. Online games are kind of like board games, but digital. Many popular board games or card games have been brought over to the virtual world, including classics like Bingo, Scrabble, Chess, Go Fish, and much more. This means you can play fun games online, individually, or with friends and family while social distancing. Some of the benefits of online games are that they're easily accessible, they're entertaining, some games are very good for brain exercise, it's a good way to reach out to family and friends that live far away and interact with people while social distancing. It offers, offers a variety of games to enjoy, and most of them are free to use. Some examples of Online games include Scrabble Go, Chess, Words with Friends, House Party, and 8-Ball, and much more. Scrabble Go. In, this, in today's webinar, we will learn how to download and start playing Scrabble Go. Scrabble Go lets you play Scrabble with friends from wherever you are. So to download Scrabble Go on your mobile, you have to go onto Apple or Android device. To download Scrabble Go on an Apple or Android device, you will want to start by opening the App Store or the Play Store. Type in Scrabble Go on the search bar and tap on the first result. Tap on Get or Install to start downloading the app for free. Playing on a tablet. Open the to oh, play on your phone or a tablet. Open the app. Select play with friends if you have a Facebook account or if you don't have one, just simply click play as guest. Starting a game. So to start playing, simply click on start a new game. From there, you will have the option to play against your computer, a friend or a play against a randomly selected opponent. So to play, do you have to make a word from the tiles given on the bottom hand of your screen. You have to click and drag the letters you would like to use to tiles on the screen. When you are satisfied with your word, press submit and your points will be shown at the top of your screen. And something else to point is that we have, you also have to wait for your opponent as they take their turn to build a word. And then you can continue playing back and forth until someone wins. There are also fun awards and prizes throughout the game and different challenges in the main menu. For example, some features the game includes is shuffling letters. If you can't get a word from your tiles, which you have currently, and then you can share the game with family and friends. Playing on a computer. So you can also play Scrabble Go on your computer, but to do that, you will have to have a Facebook account. So log in into your Facebook account if you haven't already, and then click play game to start a new game. There's also iMessage games, which the iPhone offers as an app called Game Pigeon that lets users play games through the messaging app with other iPhone users in their contacts. Some available games include pool, darts, uno, archery, checkers, etc. So to play, download Game Pigeon from the App Store and any friends that you want to play with, 
must have the app downloaded as well. Once downloaded, it will appear in the Messages app. To play, open your message app and select the contact you would like to play with. Above the keyboard, find the icon shown on the next slide and then tap Game Pigeon. So here, as you can see, if you select Game Pigeon, all these options of different games appear and then you can click on that and then you can send it to your friend. So a selection of games will pop up. Scroll down to see the full list and tap up on the game that you wish to play. There might be more instructions to follow depending on what game you select. After selecting a game, a preview, a box showing a picture of the game should appear in your text box. Tap the send button to send your game invitation to your contact. You can reply by tapping the view box sent by your opponent. Usually it will show you a preview of your friend's play. Next, play the game. After your turn, it should appear like step seven and then repeat until the game is over. Next is 8-Ball. Eight 8-Ball eight is a fun game in which you get to compete with friends and build your legends in this multiplayer challenge to become the best in 8-Ball player. So to play, you have to first download the app from your device's app store, then open the app. To play with friends, you can click your Facebook account or register through email or play with a random player as a guest. Once you complete the tutorial, you can play in different game modes against friends and family. At the end of the tutorial, you are brought to the main menu, which offers one-on-one -on -one games, specials, nine ball, and other mini games. If linked with Facebook, you will need to add your friend in the player search, meaning type your friend's name in the player search bar. Next, you would want to click on your friend's name and an invite will be sent. Your friend will then have to accept your invite to play. Once the invite is accepted, you will be able to start a game. You can add several friends and play with whoever also has the app and a Facebook account. Another fun and interactive application, House Party, lets you video chat with multiple friends at the same time while playing games. The games which House Party offers are Heads Up, Quick Draw, Trivia, Chips and Gulak, and World Racers. For, for more information, you can also watch our past webinar on the House Party, which can be accessed through the Cyber Seniors YouTube channel. So to play, we first download the app from the, from the device's app store, then open it. Sign up for an account with your email address and password. Like this. Then allow the app to send notifications, access camera and microphone when it asks. To add friends, click on the plus icon on the top right hand corner. Search the name of the friend where it says search by name and ask your friend for the account name before adding. Swipe up on the screen to start a party. You can join the party by tapping on the hand. This lets you know that you are ready to chat, then click join. While on the call, tap the plus icon and hit invite on selected friends you want to play with. Some more fun gaming apps include Words with Friends, Bridge, 2048, Candy Crush, etc. These are some additional links for more information on online games available in the world like that. And now it's time for a live demo. In the live demo, I will go over the game of Scrabble Go on the phone. To download the app, once again, as mentioned, you can either go on Apple or Play Store to install or get the app respectively. Here, I downloaded the app, so I'll open it up.
So this is the welcome page which shows up. So if you have a Facebook account, you can simply click on play with friends. Or if you don't, then you can simply click on play as guest. Since I do not have a Facebook account, I will simply click on play as guest. So to start a new game, I will click on start a new game icon and you want to click on pick your opponent here. Then it gives me three options. Play against a computer, single player, play against a friend, match me, or just Scrabble Classic. So for starters, I'll just play against the computer to get familiarized with the basic functionality of the game. You can select your level. Let's choose easy for now. So it's also something to point out that your first word must touch the first center star to continue. So on the bottom bar, we have the tiles with the different letters. So I can click on, I can drag and click on any, and I can place it near on the star. And then from there, I can make a word. And then if I'm satisfied, I can click on the Summit button. And from there, you see the purple U icon on top, top bar that, that sh is showing my points. And then Zoe is the computer who will have their next turn. So here the computer, have made created a word named Aria, and now it's my turn. So just click and drag wherever you want the word to be. And you can keep playing when someone wins the game with the highest number of points. So that was a little bit about how Scrabble Go is on your phone. And thank you for listening.